One of the mysteries that Guardians of the Galaxy opens up for us is the question of who is Star-Lord's father. Recently, Guardians director James Gunn was asked about who his father will end up being in Guardians 2, and Gunn said the following, It's definitely not the character who it is in the comics. I'll say that much. There have been a lot of documents passed around about who Peter Quill's father is between a select two or three of us. That's been a part of the plan since the beginning. That's something I had to work out before we shot the screenplay. We wanted to make sure Yandu's place and everything made sense, and it does. So it's all very specific stuff. Amy Rose, who do you think is going to be Star-Lord's father in Guardians 2? I love Gunn's comments. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's just always just keeping us to the edge of our seat. And um, yeah, I loved Guardians. I admittedly did not read a comic before I saw the film. And then I loved it so much and saw it three times in the theater, so started reading up a little bit. And I feel like Adam Warlock might make the most sense because there was an Easter mm -hmm. egg at Guardians as well. Um, but maybe they're going to go Thanos or Galactus or something crazy mm -hmm. like that. I don't really know. Um, I know that it was, what, Jason was his father? Yeah, um, the king, the, the king. emperor. Yeah. So they're obviously taking a big departure from it. Or maybe this is misdirection and it is going to be that character, but just a little different rendition of him, so I don't know the prior knowledge. I don't have an attachment to them going in a different direction. It might upset some fans, but we just got an amazing film with Guardians that, how many times have you seen it now, John? Seven now. Yeah, wow. seven, seven times. Seven times. Wow. Exactly, so um, I think that collectively it was an amazing film. Marvel knows what they're doing, so I have faith in whatever direction they're going to go, but I think Warlock would make the most sense. I, I agree with you that I think Adam Warlock makes the most sense, because I think they want to bring Adam Warlock in they did some hinting at it and stuff like that before, but I'm going to throw out another name, um, Loki. Whoa. Now, 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 now think about the mother's words on her bed. Now remember, Loki was not always a big dick. I think remember, <laughs> Loki kind of turned villain, you know, on the heels of you know hurt and on the heels of, of feeling you know second best and things like that, and it kind of drove away. And even in that first Thor movie, you see redeemable qualities about Loki. You know, even in the second Thor film, you kind of see that a bit. And the way the mother describes them in Angel Light, well, you think about how um, as Guardians teleport and travel from here and there with a big burst of light and a shot of whatever. Look, I'm not saying it's going to be Loki. I'm just throwing that out there so that, you know, a year and a half from now, if it turns out it is Loki, I get to sit back and go, ha-ha! Yeah. But, um, but it's probably Adam Warlock. It'd be smart. It would be interesting. And be, really tie that remember, universe together. Remember, Nova Prime also says, it's something very old, very ancient. Well, we don't know how old Loki and Thor and and their father, like they could literally be 100,000 years old for all we know. They don't really go into specifics on that for us. So, I don't know, Christian, who do you think is gonna end up being uh, Let's dad? spice it up and make it Idris Elba. Come oh, on. Right. I'll, I'll give well. you a schnep, yes, son. Um, no, I don't know. I think uh, Loki's interesting. Could be fun, and like you said, it, 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 we, he wasn't always that, that nasty, and uh, I, I don't know it's, it, if, it is Warlock, it, it, that could make sense. I, I was thinking, you know, one of the things I don't want to see happen, but it, it won't because I guess he's got to have that alien background, was if they, because we don't know what time, time moves differently in space. Mm -hmm. So we don't know, like, I'm thinking, oh, don't make it Tony Stark, don't make it uh, Steve, uh, Captain America, but then I'm like, well, they don't have, have alien backgrounds, so yeah. that might not work. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know, I, I think it could be someone that they probably set up in one of the future movies that we haven't even seen. I don't really, I hope it's not Thanos because then we'd have to get into a darker place with him and I don't really think we need to go there. Yeah. Um, so overall, I'd, Warlock could be fun. Yeah, and then you also with Thanos, and that, I didn't like the idea of Thanos either because that means at some point Thanos had to have gone to Earth and been such a charming, nice, right. beautiful man right. that his son looks just like him. Right. So it's got to be human. Because remember, mom says you look just like your daddy. He's good looking. That's I don't know the, what you're I talking about. The kid, I thought the kid actor who played the child Loki in the first Thor looks, looks a little bit like the child actor who played the young Peter Quill. Huh. I'm really stretching here. I'm yeah. really, really stretching. Anyway, Dennis, what about you? Who Maybe do you think Thor was cheating on Natalie I'm Portman. Gla Maybe. I'm glad that they're not doing following the comic book. I, I know there's too. purists that are going to be yelling and screaming. Yeah, all 17 of them mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. the But comics. for me, it's like it's better that it's a mystery, not just for I the agree. casual yeah. viewers and for the comic book readers. Warlock, yeah. If they do Warlock, though, I mean, that's a significant change from Warlock's back history. You know, True. You know about him and how he was born, you know? Um, 
Also, uh, Warlock plays a pivotal role in, in with Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet, which means that yep. Star Lord would, you know, also probably play a pivotal role that it wasn't before. So it possibly could do that. Does yep. Warlock hook up with Gamora? Oh, I don't. Remember. I think Warlock and Gamora are a thing for a while in the comics, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that Star would be weird. I don't know if Starlord would be happy with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, some, Dad. Some people have thrown out Yondu, but that that would be stupid. It makes yeah. no sense. It makes well, no he sense also made reference to, to Yon, his dad. Yon, yeah, Yondu said it at the end. He's like his father was was a jerk or whatever. Yeah, exactly. yeah. They were yeah. hired by his father to go get yeah. him. Plus, yeah. once again, he's not human. I mean, the mother fell in love with him, had the kid, and the kid looks a lot like his right, father. Not That's not Yondu. Right. Yeah. They did open it though with half human, half alien. You know, like yeah. there really yeah. are so many possibilities it could go. I like Loki because who doesn't love Loki? And, and <laughs> so, who? Yeah, what's position? Says, and, uh, is there any doubt here? I, I, I think we're all going to say the same three names. But when when James Gunn says there's a collection of two or three of us that are passing around notes, is there any doubt who those three are? No. Feige. It's James Gunn, it's Feige, and it's Joss Whedon. Right. Yeah. I, probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're all in agreement. Can I sit at that table? Yeah. <laughs> that would be a cool dinner party. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.